As 2020 draws to a close, we're starting to see more of this year's flagship phones receive the Android 11 update. One of the latest to arrive, at least in beta form, is Android 11 for the Asus Zenfone 7 Pro. This is one of my low-key favourite Android phones of 2020 thanks to its giant battery, full-screen display and unique flip camera trickery. And it's better than ever with this new version of Android, so let's take a quick first look. First of all, the stock Android aesthetic of Asus's Zen UI hasn't changed much at all in this new version, in stark contrast to some other manufacturers who've leaned hard into a very customised look in Android 11. This is still pretty much Android as Google intended, and one of the cleanest software setups you'll find outside of a Pixel, and although some of Asus's own apps have undergone some minor cosmetic tune-ups, much of this phone still looks and performs like vanilla Android. So, visually speaking, there's not a whole lot different in this new version. In fact, Asus has used such a light touch when it comes to customising things, that the new wallpapers in this version might actually be one of the biggest visual changes. However, you will notice the new Android 11 style notification shade, complete with dedicated media controls. These work just like they do on a Pixel, replacing the old persistent media notifications and taking the place of the old lock screen album art and media controls. Like other Android 11 phones, you are limited to only two rows of quick settings icons if you've got media apps running in the background, but if you don't, you can easily select Asus's one-handed quick settings view to see a full screen of options, which is a little easier to deal with. The recent apps menu has also been tweaked a little bit. The Android 11 screenshot option is now hidden behind the app icon here, along with other options like split screen. But right now, there's no way to select text from within apps in the Recents menu like you can in many other flavours of Android 11. The favourite stock that used to be present in Android 10 is still alive and well though, so you can still swipe up from the Recents menu to view your entire app drawer. That's something I've always liked, though that, like everything in this build, may change between now and when it's fully rolled out publicly. Right now, the Recents menu is kind of 50-50 Android 10, Android 11. The overhauled Android Power menu is also present in this build, though as before you still have the option to program a long press or double tap of the power key to open certain apps. And if you're not using that long press to open the power menu, you'll still be able to use the notification shake control to open up the new menu, which has Google Pay integration and shortcuts to control smart home devices. It's worth noting that since this isn't final firmware, it's actually not certified to use Google Pay at this point, but we would expect that to change before it's rolled out publicly. The standard Android 11 features you'd expect to see have also made it across, including one-time permissions for sensitive things like location and camera, and notification history too is up and running, though you will need to manually enable it after you update to Android 11. And the separate area in the notification shade for conversations is fully functional in this early build, though I haven't been able to get the chat bubbles feature working just yet. The option doesn't seem to be present in many apps, and the top-level chat bubble setting doesn't seem to do anything either. Like with everything else in an early build, this should be fixed before it rolls out publicly. Speaking of other bugs, the Zenfone 7 Pro still includes customization options for the refresh rate of the screen, either 90Hz, 60Hz, or auto depending on the app. And actually, this is one of the buggier things I've found in this build. The phone can get stuck at 60Hz after you've been playing a game, and you'll need to drill down the battery settings menu to get it unstuck and back to a smoother 90Hz in certain apps. So it's clear there's still some work to be done before Android 11 and the next version of Zen UI is ready for prime time on the Zenfone 7 Pro, but Asus is making good progress and the stock look and feel that you have here with Android 11 will be a breath of fresh air compared to the likes of OnePlus, which is moving to a much more customised look and feel. So this early build is available now for beta testers, though you will need to apply and be approved by Asus to get your hands on it. We'd expect it to be finalised and rolling out to everyone in the months ahead. That's it for now, we'll be taking a look at the final version of Oppo's ColorOS 11 based on Android 11 very soon. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that, and in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.